A major ice storm is expected to impact the Midwest and portions of the Southeast where states like Texas, Arkansas, and even Tennessee could get involved with a major ice storm that's expected to impact you guys as early as tomorrow. And we also need to pay close attention to the possibility of an Arctic blast moving through the eastern half of the United States where many areas should expect temperatures well below zero. If we were to continue move forward with what the latest depiction of the European model is stating at this time, taking a look at how the weather is right now throughout the country we do have um scattered rain showers going on in the southeast um you need to pay attention to heavier bouts of rain as we move forward and of course we have the soul pressures of moving southward down along the california coast bringing some rain showers around the middle portion of california as well as snow showers in the higher elevations and then this soul pressure system is expected to move south eastward and along with it there's a, a plenty of cold air behind this old pressure as well it's continuing to move forward with the latest depiction of the european model we do see that the snow showers will eventually move into arizona colorado and then rain showers for southern california and um, southern Arizona by early on Monday and we do see ice begin to develop right around the northern portion of Texas where we when we're in some areas you could expect over a half of inch of ice as a result of a ridge that's built over the Midwest at this time bring a strong northwesterly flow bringing those temperatures down long surface below freezing and we're gonna have this cold front that's or this stationary front that's gonna move through that's gonna bring warm air that's going to be just to the west of this cooler air mass and as the, and as a warm air attempts to move into this very cool air mass that's along the surface that creates a warm air intrusion in the mid levels of the atmosphere so as a result we should see a high risk of heavy ice accumulation throughout texas and oklahoma as a stationary front continues ahead further eastward uh, moving forward we do see the ice really impact northern texas and southern oklahoma and eventually this ice will move into arkansas saw and Tennessee over the next several days this goes into Tuesday and into very early on Wednesday as we see a continuous amount of convection as a result of the amount of instability we're seeing also because the temperatures are much colder than average just to the west of this old pressure system. so we're going to see a continuous stream of convection and lift along the portions of the southeast for this ice threat to continue over a prolonged period where the pink represents very heavy freezing rain and we do see some snow showers just in north of it however this at least this storm system won't be a major snow threat. this will primarily be more of a freezing rain event for many areas along southeast and the ice just continues before eventually temperatures should warm up which is certainly good news as this ridge continues ahead further eastward and prevents the north the strong northerly and cool winds moving into the southeast so as all the temperature along the surface does rise above freezing but that won't change the fact that many portions of the southern midwest should experience a major ice threat associated with the storm system as we continue to move forward and moving even more forward in the forecast we see a powerful cold front move through um just right around the late time of next week where we could see that on friday february 3rd the temperatures will fall well below average let me show you guys the forecast of temperatures right now so here's how the temperatures are looking right now for most of the United States. We do see that um, temperatures are below zero in the northern Midwest as a result of a very powerful jet stream dip moving through. And we do see that temperatures along northern Texas as well as much of Oklahoma are below freezing. And as this trough continues to head further eastward, once that convection reaches the area where the temperatures along the surface are below freezing, that's what's going to cause the freezing rain threat. And temperatures for much of the eastern half of the United States are still around average or uh, slightly above average in some areas along the eastern half of the United States as well a very powerful ridge that's still persisting over the eastern half of the United States but if I were to continue move forward we see that the freezing temperatures remain right around northern Texas and Oklahoma this is going into the Monday time frame so as the rate so as the trough continues to head further eastward along with its warm air intrusion in the mid levels of the atmosphere 
that will cause a high risk of freezing rain as a result of these very cool temperatures along the surface that are much below average. So throughout Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and even as far north as Missouri, and even as far east as Tennessee, you need to pay very close attention to this ice storm threat because it is likely to impact you guys as early as tomorrow and moving, continuing to move forward with the forecast. We do see that the freezing temperatures eventually move into Tennessee. That will put you guys at risk as well for freezing rain. Kentucky could get a little bit involved with freezing rain as well. And moving forward into the late week, this Arctic blast I'm talking to you guys about as we approach Friday, there's this big cold front moving through that's going to bring temperatures below zero for much of the interior northeast and close to zero, even further southward. And Boston in this scenario experiences a temp uh, low temperature that's, uh, that's around negative five um, Fahrenheit, which is very, very cold and, of course, much below average for that time of the year. New York City experiences temperatures close to the single digits as well as all of this cold from moving through and, in fact, does get into the single digits where New York City has a possibility of reaching zero degrees as we approach Friday night into very early on Saturday. So you need to pay very close attention to the very cold temperatures are expected to move through the eastern half of the United States since many of you guys haven't been um, experienced temperatures like this since December, since it's been a very warm January for the most part. So make sure to pay close attention to that. And of course, the, um, you need to pay close attention to the high risk of a major ice storm impacting you guys in the southern Midwest as well as portions a little bit further northeastward as well into the Ohio Valley. You could get involved with some ice as well. And the GFS model is of course agreeing with the European model at this time, which shows that the certainty is very high. So you need to pay close attention to that possibility of heavy ice power outages are possible. And of course, very slick road conditions. And you don't want to underestimate um, let's say if you receive a tenth of an inch of ice because a tenth of an inch of ice or even a quarter of an inch of ice could cause significant um, impacts along the roadways and could be dangerous to drive out, um, especially once we get past the zero, the um, quarter of an inch of ice threshold. So you need to pay very close attention to that throughout much of the southern Midwest. Now let's take a look at the GFS models forecast. The GFS model forecast at this time is showing a very similar trajectory to the European model where we do see ice accumulation in many of the same areas. We see some ice accumulation approach northern Arkansas, um, Kentucky by the very early on Tuesday time frame. And then um, we should see the heaviest of the ice for much of northern Texas was, was Oklahoma, I'd say, um, late Tuesday into um, later on Wednesday as well. That's when most of the convection should move in on you guys. And that's when the travel will be just to the east enough to um, bring more of that freezing rain to um, towards that area and more of a warm air intrusion for a higher amount of ice accumulation to occur and we will see the ice move even further eastward eventually this should be more of an all rain event as we approach the thursday time frame once the temperature along the surface does rise above freezing but like i said you guys still will experience a significant ice threat associated with this storm between the monday and wednesday time frame more simply tuesday and Wednesday for much of the southeast and the impacts couldn't um, impact the eastern portions, the more eastern portions of the Midwest as early as Monday. So you want to pay very close attention to that for much of the southern Midwest. Now let's take a look at the ice accumulation forecast. So this is the amount of ice accumulation you should expect for much of the southern Midwest. So if you're in sh the shaded in the yellow, that's that means that you should expect over a quarter of an inch of ice to up to a half of an inch of ice. And we could see potentially over a half of an inch of ice, which would be extremely, extremely significant. That would likely cause power outages. That would definitely be very concerning on the roads. That would create very dangerous road conditions. So if you're in the yellow, that's where you should expect major um, impacts associated with this ice storm and blue and if you're in the darker blue that's where you should expect more of the moderate ice impacts because a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch of ice still could cause um, a high level of a high amount of havoc on the roadways and of course could still cause power outages and then bring those and it could bring those tree branches down of course as a result of how heavy of a weight the ice accumulation brings on those tree branches so the chance of 
power outages certainly is more likely when we see the ice accumulation go over a tenth of an inch of ice and then if you're in the lighter shaded um blues that's where you should expect um less impacts of course more i'd say the impacts will be more minuscule but you can't rule out the possibility that the forecast could change we could see variations where maybe you get involved with over a tenth of an inch of ice depending on the exact trajectory of this whole pressure system and the exact temperature along the surface because it is a little bit difficult to fork uh, uh it is a little bit more difficult to forecast who will get the worst ice accumulation because of course it's going to be difficult to really narrow down where that freezing rain line will be located but in the areas shaded in the darker blues and the yellows that's where you should be certain that a major ice storm will impact you guys so you want to pay very close attention to that um this imp impacts bigger cities such as dallas little rock memphis all could get involved with over a tenth of an inch of ice and in fact it is expected you guys will get impacted with close to a quarter of an inch of ice right around that range so you want to pay very close attention to that now let's look a little bit further eastward when it comes to ice accumulation forecast so the ice accumulation could move as far east as ohio and even some portions of pennsylvania but for the most part the ice accumulation will be minor um at least the further eastward you go along the midwest where it doesn't seem like we're gonna see as much of a warm air intrusion in the mid levels um further northward as it seems like the temperature will primarily be too cold enough and you won't necessarily experience much accumulation the air will be more stable um compared to what you'll experience further southwestward but still pay close attention to the possibility of ice accumulation um in southern illinois southern indiana as well and portions of kentucky as well you could get involved with ice accumulation associated with this storm system take a look at the future cast radar to show you guys when you should expect the worst of the ice accumulation so this is very late on sunday moving forward we will begin to see convection develop um as early as monday where if i were to continue to move forward into on the midday on monday we do begin to see the freezing rain develop right around oklahoma and some um portions of northern texas just north of dallas where we do see the freezing rain um threat develop and this moves into arkansas the um the areas of freezing rain becomes a little bit more consolidated so we see a heavier band of freezing rain as all um for a longer duration this this will eventually move into Missouri. So Southern Missouri, pay close attention to the, the possibility of freezing rain by the late Monday time frame, where by your Monday evening commute, you should expect freezing rain in Southern Missouri as well as Southern as well as Northern Arkansas. So that could be dangerous for your evening commute on Monday um, and even into Tennessee and Memphis could get a little bit involved very early on Tuesday. And then we will see another round of freezing rain develop um, Tuesday morning this should impact dallas and then the worst still has yet to come for much of texas um, as the low pressure system is still located a little bit further to the west so as the solar pressure system moves further eastward that's when we should see a little bit more convection into wednesday for much of texas and that's when i expect the worst of the freezing rain to occur but tuesday as well you should um, expect freezing rain for much of northern texas so make sure to stay prepared um stay off the roads unless it's it's an extreme emergency especially when you see a heavy amount of freezing rain going on because this will likely be a significant um storm for much of northern dallas so here's my forecast when it comes to this major ice storm if you're in the pink that's where you should expect a major amount of ice accumulation this includes dallas much of the northern portion of texas and even some portions of the um southwest eastern um oklahoma and we should expect moderate ice for the uh, memphis metropolitan area extending into southern missouri and northern arkansas as well and minor ice in the lighter shaded blues so this will be so this will bring major impacts for much of the southern midwest and also pay close attention to that arctic blast i expect to move through the eastern half of the united states but i uh, thank you guys for watching